Hey, this is Jimmy. Jesus Christ, it's me. <laughs> Congressman Peter King? Yeah, that's the one that I am there. <laughs> How are you, Congressman? How you doing? Let me ask you a question, Jimmy. How did I suddenly become the most moderate person in the Republican Party? Yeah, that's a good question, uh, Congressman. I have no idea. How did you become the most moderate person in the Republican Party? Uh, I, I, I advocated moderating... <laughs> I advocated monitoring mosques, for fuck's sake. I know, I know. I'm a huge fan of the CIA waterboarding. Pretty much anyone they want. I know, you're for waterboarding anyone that the CIA wants. I defended the murder of Eric Garner by the New York City police. Yes, you're, you're right, Congressman. You're very extreme in your views. I'm a huge piece of shit, Jimmy. <laughs> By any reasonable standard. Yes. I am an insane loose cannon, and I need to be stopped. Absolutely, sir. I agree with you. And these fucking presidential candidates are making me look like so reasonable during summer vacation. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch the debate on Tuesday? Guess what, Jimmy? What? No. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Instead, I did what I do every... Every Tuesday night, drank a fifth of Bushmill, yelled at a picture of my father for an hour, <laughs> and then went to sleep on the kitchen floor. And I guarantee it was better use of my time than watching the ass clowns having a circle jerk. Yeah, well, you might be right about that, buddy. If you got a party where Donald Trump is still leading, then clearly it doesn't matter what anybody says about anything. That... That's a good point. Waste of fucking air time asking these people to explain a policy position. Just have them do the shit these people like. Like, for instance, what? What are they like? Yeah, I'd, <clears throat> I'd be like, uh, Mr. Rubio, would you please just scream into the microphone for a minute or two? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carly Fiorino, here's a copy of the Affordable Care Act. Would you please shoot it with a machine gun or some shit like that? <laughs> hey, Huckabee, do some faint healing. Uh, th that actually sounds better, Congressman. Yeah, goddamn right. What would you have Santorum do? Santorum? That guy used to run him. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> the only vote he's got on lockdown might be his mother. <laughs> yeah, I don't really get what he's got going. Pretty sure people ain't going to catch fire for the guy who promises to Red America how to scourge that is recreational masturbation by 2018. Yeah, Congressman, I mean, there are so many of these candidates who don't stand a chance. What do you think they're hoping to get out of running? Well, a lot of them sell swag after the debates, like uh, Pataki has a Christmas CD. <laughs> well, what do you mean, like he sings Christmas songs? No, no, I think he plays the pan flute or something. <laughs> I don't know. Then I think Jim Gilmore has, like, uh, DVDs of him being attacked by animals or something. <clears throat> it's mostly just a guy in a bear costume punching him in the dick. <laughs> but I got to say, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> you know, makes a great stock at Stepper. <laughs> so who do you think is going to win the nomination? Ah, oh, it's going to be Trump. You, do you think it's going to be Trump? Sure. Cruz, Huckabee, Carson, and Santorum are going to split the batshit Jesus people vote. Yeah, I bet. So that block is negated. <laughs> then Bush, Rubio, and Casey split the barring sexless vote. What about Fiorina? I have no idea what to call that vote. It's like for people who are anti-abortion, but pro-massive corporate failure. What about Rand Paul? What about him? Is he going to be a factor? Here's the thing, Jimmy. If your biggest appeal is to people who don't trust the government, guess what? Those guys don't show up to vote because they're convinced that's how they get you. Yeah. Hey, Rand. You don't become president when the constituency is rolled up in a tinfoil hat bunkers. So you think everyone else splits most of the votes and Trump just waltzes into the nomination? 
yeah, you might as well have some homo European parliament at that point. So let's go take a three out for lunch and cheat on our wives at the socialist medical clinic. <laughs> Jimmy, I gotta go. <laughs> You've got somewhere to be, Congressman? Well, it's called a prayer soon, and that's my favorite time to spy on the local mosque. Okay, Congressman. Great to talk to you. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, Salama Lalakam, you fucking jihadist motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>